I'm ready. Go. I want to talk tonight about failure. I'm sure sometime in your life you've branded somebody a failure. You've told them, I'm a failure. You're a failure. I want, I've got to really address that issue tonight. And if you break the word up, failure, it actually looks like fail. You are a fail. And I think, no, we've got to look at failure in a different light. We've got to think positive. So my gift to you tonight is to, to talk about not just failure, but about success. And I'm going to create a word tonight. Why are we not success you know, Why do we not think about success in terms of failure? So my word tonight, gift to you, a new word, succession. But I want to talk about some things that have failed and people who have failed. And this prime example, Thomas Edison. <clears throat> he invented the light bulb. But he took 10,000 attempts to do that. But his quote was, I have not failed, I just found 10,000 ways that it didn't work. So what a fantastic statement, but he was just so positive about failure. James Dyson, 5,261 attempts producing this vacuum cleaner. You cannot learn from success, you will only learn from failure. <laughs> and one of the biggest failures on the planet is now probably one of the most richest people on the planet, Richard Branson. And his quote is, do not be embarrassed by your failures, learn from them and start again. What a great way. So we start to think positive things. And my talk's usually about BS. People say, you talk BS. And I say, well, usually that's what I do. But if you've not seen the BS talk, have a look for it on Better Culture. But it's not BS. My passion is about British standards. And I talk to people about British standards, about the kite mark. Because kite mark is about failure. It's about taking things to destruction, but actually then proving that that item, that whatever it's been tested, is a success. So it's their succession. And I want to talk about other things that may have failed. We used to have somewhere in the region 26 railways. But until we standardised them and got one size railway, four foot eight and a half, then we suddenly could all travel from the north to the south. Failure. If we didn't have consistency in standards in petrol and diesel, BSEN 590, BSEN 228, we'd, our cars would fail. So we need consistency. Every time you look at those standards, every time you fill up, you'll see these standards. But spectacularly, failures can happen. Toyota last year, uh, two years ago, the Toyota Prius, 5.1 billion pounds on a recall. That's cost them money. So if quality counts. But then it might not be your fault. That was a bolt on the runway from another aircraft and went into the Concorde and the engine blew up, hit a block of flats. What a disaster, not your fault. And other disasters that we can look at as well, not their fault. Two O-rings, costing just under one dollar, failed. Not their fault. But failure then means, actually we learn from these things. We move forward with success and succession. And we take that into how many people don't want rubber rings to fail. <laughs> and how many have relied on the fact that these are tested to be SEN 600. Because that is something we do not want to fail. But tonight I'm going to introduce you to one particular element that I think, and I'm passionate about, that I hope, I hope and pray that it fails. This thing is so minute, it's the smallest thing you will ever see. But actually, in my mind, it's a champion. It already is a champion for everybody. We have to believe in this product. We have to believe that it's actually tested to do what it wants to do and what we need it to do. And what is that? My friends, this is BS1362. BS1362, you say, I don't need that. Yes, you do. Why? Because it's the best thing ever. And what is BS1362? Friends, the 13 amp fuse. If it wasn't before the 13 amp fuse, just imagine what might happen. One day you'll be relying on this 13 amp fuse to fail. And that's what it's designed to do. The 13 amp fuse is designed to fail to protect you, to actually have success. So the 13 amp fuse, to me, if it didn't fail, you might all be dead. So think about the 13 amp fuse next time. So I'd like to leave you with a little message. My thought for today if it wasn't for failure, if it wasn't for the success of failure, if it wasn't for failure in its sense, you all need to think, embrace failure, 
but also embrace what we learn from failure and we learn to live, not die.